Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports for today's URC Round 5 review. And if you're a South African fan, it's not going to be a great review. It's not going to be a fun review because we had a bit of a disaster round. And uh, Problem City for the South African this weekend. And uh, yeah, it's it's not looking good, to be honest. And uh, we've had these problems before and we bounced back. So there's no need to panic. But uh, it's certainly not a great look when all four South African sides lose in one weekend. And uh, something that's going to have to try and change. And I think with the fixtures coming this weekend, probably will change. Um, but still, we have to look back at the fifth round and uh, look at where things went wrong, where there are some positives, where there are lots of negatives, and uh, what the table's looking like and, and sort of how this, this, the, 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 we start to unfold. Because we're almost um, a third of the way to the competition already. So, well, you know, you can sit there saying it's early days, and it is early days. But uh, the 18 rounds, and we're going into round six this weekend. So after this weekend, we will be a third of the competition uh, way through. So, uh, yeah, before we look at the results, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Let's have a look, shall we? Things all started on Friday night, and the Lions went down to Ulster. Uh, 24 points to 17. A frustrating game. Um, but the big thing for the Lions, I suppose, the, the positive is that they've yet to lose without a losing bonus point, which means every single match they've played... They've been within a, a converted trial of either drawing in this case or winning the game. So they've been there and thereabouts, which is a little bit of solace, I think, for, for Lions fans, you know, in, in that, you know, we're not far away from being at, at the level. But I think frustratingly, it's just a case of why can't we get over that final hurdle? You know, why aren't we able to really kick on and and get to that uh, that final uh, the result, you know? And, and look, I mean, Ulster at home are a formidable side. They've really got a really great home record. So I... Was almost, I was pretty happy with the Lions' performance. And generally, I think this season, the Lions are showing that they are a much better side than last year. You know, they're not going away. They're starting to string together a bit more of a, an 80-minute performance. Um, I think at the end of the day, they're just struggling with the player personnel and the quality difference um, between them and, and, and Alastair, for example. You've got international quality uh, compared to the Lions, where there isn't a single current international player within the squad setter. Um, so yeah, as we uh, Zebra getting a draw against Cardiff, uh, what a season Zebra are having, and they're actually coming out to South Africa to play against the Lions this weekend. So it'll be interesting to see how they go. Uh, they've recorded their first victory of the season. They've gotten a draw against Cardiff, so they're off to a decent start. Uh, the Bulls, it wasn't to be, wasn't it? Uh, Thirty-one twenty-three, a red card uh, as well to sort of Golden Boy Cameron Hardicorn, but they remain in the top eight. But they've gone from being you know first all the way down to seventh very quickly. Um, so from that perspective, they have tumbled quite quickly and not an ideal result for them. Um, but I think that, you know, with the Springboks coming back in a couple of weeks, I think they'll be able to turn that around quite a lot. This is where the problem lies, isn't it? The Sharks losing to Connacht five straight losses in a row and this loss coming at home as well. It's inexcusable, isn't it? You know, they cannot, cannot, cannot be losing five games in a row. Absolute crisis at the moment, really. Uh, down in Durban. I'm not quite sure what they do to fix it either. You know, I think they've got the players. Yes, they've got a bit of an injury crisis. Yes, there's um, a lot of spring box missing. But, um, yeah, it's just it's, it's not really an, an excuse because they've gone and invested in such a big squad. They've got so many players. You know, on paper, we counted there were nine, nine internationally capped players in the starting lineup on Saturday. You know, so nine players that ran out against this Connacht side, which was a rotated Connacht side, by the way, missing quite a few players themselves and at home. You know, but none of those players with the Sharks have played international rugby. So, uh, yeah, frustrating. Uh, Dragons beating Ospreys, their first win of the season. So uh, that's not good news for the Sharks as the Dragons, who were, you know, within reach, recorded quite a, a big victory against Ospreys, 20 points to five. Uh, Munster then beating Stormers, a frustrating game for Stormers. Once again, Munster at home, uh, you know, and they've got Stormers now. I don't think Stormers have actually beaten Munster. Uh, so Munster at home are a tough, tough fixture. Uh, I thought there were times where I saw a lot of improvement from the Stormers, but also times where I just felt that just a couple of basic areas. I think there's no doubt for me that they're missing a lot of key players uh, that, that are actual points of difference. You know, I feel that Damien Willems said Martin Lierbach would change the side right now. I think having Dion Free over there would, would change the side. Um, so I was very impressed uh, with with the, with the scrummaging, for example. They, they scrummed really well. I said they had some positives, but there were also quite a few negatives for that Stormer side. You just need to learn how to travel, don't they? Uh, Glasgow Warriors completing a decent victory against Burnton. That'll be a nice boost for them. And then Leinster absolutely hammering Scarlet. Uh, probably a game which maybe doesn't reflect the fact that Scarlet's actually played well in patches, but Leinster, you know, were, were, were full value for uh, their money there. Right, let's have a look at the table, shall we? And this is how it looks. Right, so... Leinster at the top, tied with Glasgow Warriors. Uh, four wins out of five. 
Um, Ulster sitting in third place, Connacht in third, and tied fourth place as well, or tied third. Um, and then Edinburgh, Munster, uh, five, six, Bulls down there at, at seventh, and Brenton at uh, eight. But you can see, you know, there's five points between seventh and, 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 and first. So it is because it is early in the season. So one victory and you can steamroll yourself up here. The Storm is currently sitting just outside the top eight. Uh, the Lions are sitting tied with Cardiff, uh, despite only one win, no draws. Again, they're picking up bonus points, uh, which, is, which is the one good thing that they are doing. Sharks sitting at the bottom of the log. Four points drip from 15. Now, if you look at the full table, um, you know, the, the form guard, every single, you know, they, they've got the worst form guard. Only the Storm is now on a third uh, consecutive loss. So this is where it's a bit concerning for the teams. Even the Lions managed to have a victory there. Um, but if you look at the bonus points, for example, over here, um, which is, you know, the Lions picked up five bonus points. Uh, the same amount as Zebra, for example. So the, the two teams with the most bonus points of the season. Yes, they have been losing bonus points. Um, but that's important, you know, because, you know, that one win suddenly means they're on nine points. Whereas the Sharks have only picked up two losing bonus points. So even if they were to get a win, they'd be on six points um, and, and, and still probably well behind the Lions. So uh, it's a disaster for the Sharks. Uh, for the Lions, again, you know, they're back at home. I think they've got um, Dragons and, and Zebra coming down. So two big opportunities for them. I think two wins for them could put their season right back on track. The Sharks have got, have got to start winning, don't they? Uh, same with the Stormers, you know, you've got four games in a row and all of a sudden, you know, you suddenly, the idea of home playoffs, you know, which is so important, suddenly become a lot more difficult. The Bulls, I think, if they were to bounce back this weekend, can very easily get their season back on track. Uh, but let me know what you thought about the, the, the weekend of rugby down in the comments below. Please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.